Do you feel we are in the last hours? Well, I have discernment on that, but I also have prophetic words directly from the Lord on that. And yes, we are in the last of the last days. The last days biblically started when Jesus Christ rose from the dead. That's when the last days started. Paul is very clear on that in Scripture. Okay? And what that meant by the last days is, is the last days of the world as we know it. And we went into an, a time called the church age, where the church of Jesus Christ was building up and growing across the world. Okay? Now we're coming into the last days of that church age, and we're coming into the kingdom age. We're in the, the last of the last days as we know it, coming into the age of the kingdom where Jesus Christ church groups, a group of believers in Jesus Christ. That's the church. The church is not a building. The church is the group of believers of Jesus Christ, his ecclesia, followers of Christ. In a move of the Holy Spirit of these days, we're coming into a new time, a new age called the kingdom age, where the, we as believers are bringing the kingdom of God to the earth. That's why Jesus gave us a prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, holy is thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. So us as believers, our job for 2,000 years has been bringing the kingdom of God to the earth, spreading the gospel. Now, we are coming into a time of being true carriers of the kingdom of Jesus Christ, where we are going to know how to fully walk in our authority. We are in the time of the apocalypse, right? The transitioning time. Right now, we're in the time, we, we, just, went, we just went through the tribulation. Has it been pretty miserable these last seven years? Yeah. Are all of the prophecies that were in the minor prophets happening to Israel? Are we in a Zechariah chapter four and five time? Yes. But Israel will have victory. We will come into the one new government of Jesus Christ, Jew and Christian together as one, bringing forth the kingdom of God. And we're going to be finally walking in our true authority because the apocalypse is happening too. It's a time of convergence as we're coming into this new age of time. It's glorious. Do you realize you and your children were, were born for such a time as this to bring forth the kingdom? It is the greatest time ever in the earth. Jesus Christ working within us and through us. We are bringing forth the kingdom. The apocalypse happens. Apocalypse is simply a Greek word that means the revealing, the unveiling. Are you awake? Huh? Things are being revealed and unveiled and now God's people, the church of Jesus Christ, right? The believers are finally becoming, stepping away from religion and being kingdom and fully walking in our true kingdom authority, doing the works of Jesus Christ, walking around doing signs, wonders, miracles. Heaven comes to earth and we bring it forth through Christ Jesus. That's your job and my job as a believer. So get away from the gloom and doom. Get away from those negative Nellies out there and rejoice in the Lord because this is the greatest of times that we are coming into. And as we come into this kingdom age, this new time, there's a new like sound and frequency as God is lifting these veils and people are awakening and fully walking in their kingdom authority in Christ. It's glorious. And not only that, you know what the good part is, too? Israel and Jerusalem. Thousands of Jews coming to know Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, preparing the way of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because when Jesus returns on the Mount of Olives, his bride is going to be, we're going to be beautiful, shining, brave, and we're going to present his wedding present to him. The great harvest 
There is going to be revival like you've never seen before. Amos 9, 11 through 15. God is rebuilding the tabernacle of King David. God has not forgot those promises. What's the tabernacle of King David? Worship tents. Worshiping God in the presence of God. They'll be all over the world. Thousands and millions will come to Christ. And including Jews. And they will reestablish the throne of King David. And when Jesus returns, they will know him. Because he said they would. Jesus said on the Mount of Olives before he was crucified, Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, I weep for you. You did not know me, but I will return to you when you know me. What? I'd say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They're going to throw open the gates, know him, receive him, and hand him the throne of King David. I'm not the only one teaching this. You see, the religious spirit is an evil, wicked spirit. It wants to control you. It wants to keep you in fear. It wants to keep you in the dusty pew of the church instead of going out and working for Jesus. It wants to make you think you're going to get beamed out of here out of fear. Uh-uh. Now, that isn't what Jesus said. He said, occupy until I come. Go out and tell the good news to all creation, including the earth. The earth is birthing. The Bible says the earth is birthing, the birthing of the sons and daughters of God. Who is that? You and me. Where we come into the full understanding of who he is and operate in that. So rejoice, my friend. It is the greatest of times, the greatest of days. Hallelujah.